We are unbound. Free. Unshackled. We push the limits in the most powerful cars. Cars we don't pay for. We go where we want, when we want, as fast as we want. You may call us thugs, but deep down, you know you need us. We are the law. You can't catch devils with angels. I am not you. I am the life you're too scared to live. You are asleep. I am awake. I am the reality show. The catalyst. The 15 minutes you'll never have. You want to know why I do this? I want to know why you don't. We are the enemy of freedom. I will run. We are the shadow you can I will share. never stop. We will hunt you. You will never catch me. You will not stop. You will make me We are ex. You will fail. We will break you. Are my you are my are our and you are our target. You are my rival. There are only two types of people driving this fast. Cops and criminals. People accuse us of using excessive force because we put people in the wall every now and then. But we aren't looking for a fair fight. We have to win every single time we turn our lights on, or the public loses faith that we can defend them. The bottom line is that fear commands respect. And if you endanger the ungrateful masses we protect, we will command you with everything we've got. Every man has his limit, and the only way to find it is to go past it. Racing is about challenging the boundaries of your fear, your nerves, and your skill. It's about strapping yourself into a machine that's sole purpose is to convert gasoline into adrenaline. And once you've done it, you never crave anything else. After a video of a street racer was posted online, dozens of other racers have begun uploading copycat videos. It appears that what was once an anonymous underground sport is now become a sport of viral reality show with racers embracing and even seeking out notoriety. Perception is reality. Law and order only exists as long as the public believes it. Today, they believe it less than yesterday. They see racers defying the laws without consequence. And when the laws no longer have teeth, when they become polite suggestions, society breaks down. The public accuses us of intimidation. But the truth is that show of force is preferable to use of force. And when show of force isn't enough to maintain order, sometimes you have to settle for the real thing. Ground racers have traditionally maintained a low profile in Redview County, but since a video of a racer outrunning a cop went viral last night, dozens of other racers have begun posting their videos as well. The district attorney has been very vocal on the subject, stating that law enforcement agencies will be investigating all street racing videos, and anyone they identify will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. They say Stockholm Syndrome is when victims begin to identify with their captors. When you begin to accept and even love the very people who oppress and abuse you. We are born free, resisting authority, daring to climb, to run, to defy the status quo. But then one day, we break. The mayor visited Officer John McManus today as he recovered from his injuries at Redview County Hospital. While street racing in Redview County has caused thousands of dollars in property damage, this is the first time it has crossed the line. Newton's third law says that for each action, there must be an equal and opposite reaction. Force must always be met with force and excessive force must be responded to accordingly. 
The racers have shown that they are willing to cross the line in their quest to disrupt society. We must be willing to do the same to protect it, to teach our enemies that it is they who are in danger. The mayor took time out of his busy schedule today to visit Officer John McManus at Redview County Hospital, where he is receiving treatment for injuries sustained in the line of duty. According to a police spokesman, law enforcement will not stop until those responsible are brought to justice. If there is one lesson the police should learn from this, it's that they can't keep up with us. Officer McManus pushed his limit, but ours was further. They say we endanger the public, but they are the ones who aren't in control. But they don't want the truth. They want revenge for a crime that was never committed. The police were our rivals. Now, they are our enemies. The Department of Justice has been called in to examine what is being called a culture of intimidation in the Redview County Police Force. In the precinct at the center of this scandal, all officers have been put on restricted duty while the investigation plays out. In the meantime, the FBI Vehicle Response Team, which is the nation's top interdiction unit, has been called in to secure the streets. I am not you. I am the dirt under your nails. I am the sin you deny a confession. The public asks us to defend them, sanctioning whatever violence it takes. They use terms like necessary force to shelter themselves from the fact that they have sent us to beat, maim, and kill the people who would do the same to them. Deep down, they know they need us because everyone wants security, but only a few are willing to accept the price. Internal Affairs says it is expanding its investigation into excessive force accusations against members of the department. And the police chief announced he is suspending all patrols. In the meantime, the FBI's vehicle response team has been called in to secure the city until the police are cleared of wrongdoing. Now we have a new enemy, the VRT, ex-special forces, and ex-street racers. They kind of carry a grudge. They don't play by the same rules the cops do. Their only purpose is to end you. We tried to play by the rules. And where did that leave us? Chained up on the side of the road like dogs. Forced to watch as the racers mock us. We used to rely on strength and unity. A brotherhood bound by honor believing that in a just universe, justice would prevail. If we want to win, we need to play by a new set of rules. Our enemies operate outside the law. So too must we. We will infiltrate their world. Lone wolves in sheep's clothing. The police have confiscated many of their vehicles, which sit idle in the impound lot. Now, they will be our weapons of war. The racers will think we are their rivals. But now, we are the Reapers. The feds were sent in to make the streets safer, but they have only made them more dangerous. More dangerous for us, and more dangerous for the public caught in the crossfire. While many racers are throwing in the towel, a new batch just showed up. Their leader goes by the handle, Fate. No one knows where he came from, but he's issued an open challenge to all racers. This town is now in the national spotlight, and the spotlight is where you make a name for yourself. Our rivals define us. They prove our place in the food chain. Fate wants to use me to define him. I will use him to define me. The appearance of a street racer calling himself Fate has triggered an overnight explosion in street racer violence. FBI officials say they are struggling to cope with the new threat and have been forced 
to recall all police from restricted duty effective immediately. The best of these drivers are being selected to join the ranks of the VRT, the FBI's vehicle response team, in an attempt to restore order. Welcome to VRT selection, candidate. There's a reason we don't take many cops in VRT. We're brought in when you fail. After us, there's no one else to call. We use cutting-edge methodologies to find, fix, and finish our targets. Cops see chaos and try to create order. We'll teach you to do the opposite. You'll create chaos for our enemies. You'll thrive on this chaos. You'll become addicted to it. The internet is buzzing tonight with newly released videos of a racer calling himself F8, or Fate, wreaking havoc on other street racers during a race. We all know street racing is a contact sport, but this level of racer-on-racer -racer violence is unheard of. They say Fate is a racer, but to those of us who have seen his shadow in our rear view, his tactics are unmistakable. There are those who drive for freedom, for release, and there are those who drive to release their aggression, to dominate. Fate isn't one of us. Fate is a cop. The police seek to corrupt us from the inside. If they are going to use our cars to send a message, we will use theirs. Tonight, I will wear the wolf's clothing. Seems you passed the test, candidate. Welcome to the nation's premier vehicle interdiction unit, the FBI Vehicle Response Team. Selection's an ongoing process, and every day we sharpen the blade. In the garage, you'll find your new equipment, entirely customized to you, and solely focused on getting the job done once and for all. The United States taxpayer is investing millions of dollars in you. We expect it to be money well spent. The public is outraged after learning that all officers have been cleared in the use of excessive force. While there have been some reports of civil unrest, increased law enforcement presence has prevented any. One racer in particular, codenamed Zephyr, has become viewed as a sort of Robin Hood character after stealing a police car and leading the cops on a massive chase. This is bigger than racing now. We're sending a message, and people are listening. We positively ID three known associates of Zephyr. They're using encrypted radios that ping whenever they communicate. The radios will show up on your map when in use, but you'll need to bust them while they're active. The radios are useless. If you can seize their comms, we can break their encryption and locate Zephyr. Our goal was to disrupt the racer network. They thought teaming up would make them stronger. But in the end, it made them vulnerable. They drew strength from their anonymity. And we took it away. Like a pack of wolves, we herded them together to make them easier to pick off. Now it's time to move in for the kill. This is an open manifesto to all street racers. I am not your enemy. I am not a threat. I am your rival. I will make you drive harder. I will give you purpose. The police have called us a network of racers and classified us as an organized criminal enterprise. Until today, this was a lie. Until today, we were not organized and we were not a coordinated network of outlaws. But today, the lie becomes true. Within the last hour, multiple news outlets received a video from a source claiming to be Zephyr. He says he is issuing an open challenge to all street racers and law enforcement. In the video, he has posted a map where racers and cops can settle their rivalry once and for all. While law enforcement is billing this as a declaration of war by the racing community, Zephyr claims it is, quote, the ultimate reality show. 
Techs have decrypted Zephyr's radio signal. Stand by while they patch us in. Tonight, I call on all racers to band together to protect our way of life from our true enemies. We triangulated his signal to a couple miles from your position before his comms went dark. You're the only asset we have with a shot at getting in there in time. Your assignment's simple. Get to Zephyr. End it. End it now. Zephyr has questioned our authority, and now it's time to answer. Today, he will learn what happens when you wake the beast. We are coming to you with live footage from Redview County, where the racer known as Zephyr has just been involved in a horrific high-speed collision with local police units. Paramedics are making their way to the crash site as we speak, but from this vantage point, it's hard to picture anyone surviving a wreck like that. I am the reality show. The 15 minutes you'll never have. They say speed kills, but if you aren't speeding, then you aren't living. <laughs> from the FBI's vehicle response team remains in critical condition after a collision with the outlaw racer, Zephyr. While authorities will not release the name of the injured officer, our sources tell us the officer has already been terminated from the force for his reckless actions. You are asleep. I am awake. I am unshackled. Free. I am the life I was too scared to live. Just when it seems the racing epidemic is over, a new video has surfaced of the racer known as Fate, who has taken Zephyr's spot as the top racer in Redview County. In it, he issues a challenge to all racers. I will make you faster. I will give you purpose. I will make you famous. I am your adversary. I am your opponent. I am your rival.